The wind is my friend. Together we have toiled along the cracks of time itself, in search of a place to lay our heads which now remain heaved from the sun's memory. In melody we sing to the ears of celestial titans the music of torn pages, mellowing along the edge of reality, pacing, walking in and about a state of numbness, unable to digest the realization of black holes within the fabric of human nature, how they so willingly suck out the color of Mother Nature's skin. Within her grasp now lies hunger and extinction. Her smile now lies broken about the driveways of man-made game reserves, where her children now await death. How insanely sad. How they for so long remain in debt of her kindness as they solely ate away her virginity. An infinite leap of fate which inevitably leads to their own extinction. Yet they choose to look past, steadfast on a pointless mission. Emissions of carbon now block in the gaze of father sons eyes who have long been shamed with humanity's sight, yet they look past, past the tears of an ocean that cries out floods every new moon, past the fires from the deep depths of earth's mantle, they even ignored the shy attempt of the rain to slowly move away the soil they step on, like stars that live and die before a single strength of light hits our eyes. These stories only come to us as second-hand waves, us, the children of the wind. We now search slowly for a place to hide our heads before the imminent end, before the beams from above fall over earth like rain. After all, shall we keep praying for them until us too are praying in their ever hungry eyes? It's very clear, their hearts have turned cold as ice. Now they hunt the elements that keep their world in balance. Gallant, like the knights of chivalry, they only know to survive. If only they knew the death that they see as life. <laughs>